If you follow my channel, you may have noticed that I've been putting out a lot more content than normal recently, and many have accused me of being an artificial intelligence. I hate to admit it, but there is some truth to that. I've partnered with AI researchers to build tools that empower creators, and we've been alpha testing them in stealth mode for the last month, and I feel like Barry Bonds in 2001, where I can just knock it out of the park every day. It seems kind of unfair, but the good news is that these tools will be available to everyone in the not-so-distant future. The first thing you should have noticed by now is that my voice is entirely artificial. Researchers took hundreds of hours of my voice, and reverse mapped it to their encoder, decoder, turbo, and cabulator transformer based on OpenAI's Whisper technology. And it almost sounds real. Having a high-quality cloned voice is nice, but it's not the thing that makes me productive. The time-consuming part of making videos is all the writing, code, and editing that's required. But what's crazy, though, is that I don't do any of that by hand anymore. Instead, it's all handled by a multimodal, bioavailable, generative, pre-trained transgender model, which will soon be unleashed on the world as GPT-6. A scientific marketing brochure will explain all the details soon, but but the secret sauce is human DNA. Rather than store all the weights and biases on silicon chips, we store them directly on living tissue. Did you know, it only takes one gram of dried human DNA to store 455 exabytes of data. That's the capacity of multiple data centers and enough space to store the entire GPT dataset and beyond. But the tricky part is that we need the DNA to be wet and alive, and that means we need to deliver it into a living host. Luckily for that, we were able to partner with Pfizer to use their safe and effective mRNA technology to propagate the GPT model throughout the human body. Once injected, the mRNA teaches our cells how to train the GPT model. As an end user to prompt it, all you have to do is think of a thought in your brain. That will trigger an immune response that then transmits the chat GPT response back into your brain. Sounds pretty awesome. So when they offered me early access, my response was an emphatic hell yes. Because you guys deserve the best YouTubers that science can create. They flew me out to Korea for the procedure, and here's how things went. Hello friends, Dr. Haywood Jablomi here. We here at the OpenAI Biolabs team are big fans of Fireship and reached out to Jeff to see if he'd be willing to try our new GPT-6 embedded model. But with any new AI technology, there are some safety concerns. After receiving the first injection, sadly, uh, the test subject died an extremely painful and agonizing death. We fucked up pretty bad, but that didn't leave us discouraged. Our team was able to extract his encephalon and put in a Ziploc bag. We then put some jumper cables on it and hooked it up to a Raspberry Pi, allowing us to prompt GPT-6 entirely from a self-contained biological system. And well, the results speak for themselves. We're calling this groundbreaking new model Jeff. My name is Jeff. Juxtaposed encephalon for filmmaking and will be available soon in a Microsoft product near you. Well, technically inside of you. And that means you'll be seeing a lot more content from your favorite creators. So make sure to smash, smash that subscribe button. In fact, this is your last warning. If you watch my videos and are not sub subscribed, just hit the bu button and that'll be the end of it. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will, 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 will find you. And I will. For the love of God, just subscribe to goddamn fire ship while you still have time. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.